If you've been looking for an upgraded travel trailer that won't break the bank or your truck suspension, then I got one for you. Let's check it out. And this is the 2024 Kodiak Ultralight 257 RKSL. The RK, of course, being rear kitchen SL, I can only assume is for slide, but I honestly don't have a clue. It could be super light. But uh, regardless, this is a great, what I would call mid-length, we're under 30 foot, um, mid-priced and mid-tier RV. It's not going to be you know, super premium, but it's also going to have a lot of nice features that definitely elevate it above anything I would consider entry level. And for the weight, I mean, you're looking at you know, roughly 5,600 pounds dry. That is honestly pretty darn good for a travel trailer that is almost 30 foot long. So let's start off right back here. Uh, one of the things you will notice is the countertop looks like a, a rock. You know, right? Like a kind of a cool countertop. I like it. It is a thermofoil. It's not going to be a true solid surface, but I like thermofoil for a couple different reasons. One, because it's going to be lighter weight, and because this is an ultra light, again, you don't just get it 5,600 pounds and have a bunch of heavy materials. The other thing I like about it is the fact that it still allows you to undermount the sink and it's not going to fall apart at the corners like your, you know, standard T mold will. You'll also see the big stainless steel sink there, and that does have the apron front. You have drawers all the way down the side. The bottom one is a little bit deeper there as well, just to kind of give you an idea what I'm talking about. Some nice deep storage. And under the sink, we can see you do have enough space for a trash can. You'll also notice your sink top cover slash cutting board down there and a wireless speaker that does come with the unit. That will essentially be your entertainment system. And you can, of course, take that outside. Storage all across the top. It is real hardwood uh, cabinet doors and drawers for the fronts. Uh, you will see the microwave, the Furion hood, and as we drop down, of course, the three burner Furion cooktop with the oven. Over to the side is your pop-up outlet. A couple quick things about this one. The top is a wireless charger. Also, you have USB-A and USB-C plus your standard outlets, and those are pre-wired for an inverter. So if you do choose to have an inverter installed, any of them that have that little sticker means that uh, essentially they are pre-wired for that inverter, and therefore they will function even without shore power if you do put the inverter in. You will also see the uh, 10 cubic foot fridge freezer on here. This is the Furion brand. You have, again, plenty of space. What we've always seen in the past, a lot of times, especially in a travel trailer this size, it'd be like a six cubic foot. A big one would be eight. Ever since they've gone to the 12 volt electric, it has allowed for bigger fridges like this one, which is where you're getting that 10 cubic foot. In fact, I think it might be 10.7, but regardless, it is uh, quite large. In the slide out itself, you can see the dinette as well as the theater seats. The dinette does drop down into a bed for some additional sleeping and take a look at that. You have deep drawers in here too, which are pretty nice. Uh, there are some other brands that are a little bit bigger, but they don't have them on the glides. At least these ones are on the uh, slides there, so you can slide them in and out quite easily. And then over to the side, as I mentioned, is the theater seating. The old uh, T-Pain collection, the Thomas Payne, it is super comfortable. I mean, here, I'll show you. It's been a long day. I don't mind. Don't mind if I do, um, but just pop up, relax. And here's probably my favorite thing about this floor plan, folks. It is a rear kitchen, but it's just functional because right here, right across the way is the TV right where I want it. Great viewing angle. Again, inverted outlets there. You can also see the fireplace right down below. That's going to be more, for more than just ambiance. It's going to keep my feet nice and toasty because that does kick out heat as long as you have shore power. That is a big electric space heater. The other thing is they didn't waste any space because you have the handle here and right behind, take a look at that. That's just smart storage. I mean, that's just smart. You have a huge pantry with a light there. Um, and I like that because, you know, if the, the grandkids come over, they don't know where all your snacks are hidden, right? They'll actually eat meals, not just snack all day. Then over to the side, as soon as you walk in, you can see all of your coat racks. Um, again, you know, I like this because a lot of times you don't have a place to put them. You can even put shoes on the bottom so they're not cluttering up this main entryway. The main control will be right here. This is for your water heater. That is not uh, your thermostat. <laughs> Don't do what I do and come in and wonder why it is set to 124 degrees. Yeah, I figured it out real quick. That's because that's the water heater control. Your thermostat is uh, right over here. 
kind of similar, but eh, well, you know, half the size and black, not silver. Uh, but that obviously will control both your furnace as well as the ducted AC system. And this one does have a quick dump so you can open it up uh, to quickly cool off the space here inside. So we make our way up front, take a quick look at the bathroom. Here, I'll move in, I'll walk in here just to give you an idea for space. So take a seat on the toilet. <clears throat> it is a little tight in the shoulders. Um, you know, I'm six foot, about 210, and it is, it is a little snug in here. Um, if we shut the door, you know, we can, <laughs> what's, what's happening? <laughs> no! Um, it, with the door shut, it, it, again, it just, it feels a little tight. The other thing, we have a plastic bowl. I know they're trying to save weight, and I know that I said I'm down for all lightweight components. <sighs> this is one of them I would swap out, but it's okay. Um, here's the reality of it. If you have a plastic bowl in the RV you buy, that's fine. Use it for, you know, two, three years, and if you still love the RV and your toilet's gross, just swap it out for a porcelain bowl. Um, you know, again, I would have rather had porcelain from the start, but I understand it may be a, a space uh, constraint as well that is a little bit smaller style toilet. But right behind the toilet is the linen closet. Definitely enjoy that. Some, uh, again, towel hooks there. And when I step in the shower, thank goodness, I can stand all the way up in here at six foot. Uh, I would expect that I could with a travel trailer this size, but you never 100% know. Here we definitely can. Hand wand there. Mirrored medicine cabinet that is backlit, uh, which is pretty nice. And I kind of like the wall board they put there as well. Just nice little accent. Making our way up front into the bedroom. A couple things to say here. One, probably the biggest win in my book is the fact that this is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. And look, I can still walk around it. Even over here, I can actually, you know, I have to do the little shimmy, well, the little RV bedroom shimmy, but the fact it is a full 80 inches is huge. Uh, you'll also see kind of up front behind the double wardrobe, you have uh, inverted outlets there as well, kind of for CPAP machines wardrobe on both sides, storage across the top. If we take a look up at the top, you will see this one is prepped for a second AC, so it's already uh, wired up there, as well as braced, so it is a lot easier to install. The last thing I wanna to touch on before I head out is the fact if you want a TV in the bedroom, there is a spot to mount it. All right, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the 2024 Dutchman Kodiak 257 RKSL. Right up front's power tongue jack. This, of course, makes it easier to connect and disconnect to our tow vehicle. A couple uh, propane tanks behind that. You have two 20-pounders rails for the battery and 12-volt distribution box, which I actually really do enjoy that. Uh, it has a battery disconnect built in and just makes all of your wiring a whole heck of a lot easier. You do have solar prep here on the side, and if we take a look inside, you will see uh, our solar charge controller there as well as the inverter prep and the LED light that is all the way across. And more importantly than that is just how much space you have in this pass-through. You have a massive door on both sides, so you are able to get uh, everything out from the other side, everything you put in here. So nice, easy access, and again, it is just overall quite open. Power stabilizer jacks, one control in the front for the front two, another control in the back for the rear two. Large power awning with LED lights. You have a spot right out here to hook up your TV. You can see the mount, so you can use the same TV that's from inside, just drop it right in here, which is great. That way you don't have to carry around a second TV that's gonna break in transit. Um, all aluminum sidewalls, as you'd expect. Well, let me rephrase that. You have uh, the aluminum cage in there with fiberglass exterior sidewalls. Uh, so excellent construction method and Kodiak is one of the few manufacturers that has gotten on board with the tempered glass doors, which honestly, I really, really like. I think they look great. Uh, and on top of that, they're extremely solid. They also have a window built in that you can hardly see, which again, I also do like. I'll open this up here just to kind of give you, so you can take a peek right there it is. And that is uh, prepped for the thin shade. So that way you can have just a little bit added privacy. Now getting into the coach is quite simple. Thanks to the bigger grab handle, as well as your stable steps here with the three aluminum treads. 
Right out here, you will see that you have a mount for a grill, anything like that to hook up. You also have a spray port for cold water access. And if I open up this back compartment, you'll see there's an outside fridge. And let's be honest, that of course is the best part of an outside kitchen. There is a uh, propane quick connect down here as well, so that if you do have like a Blackstone or something that you wanna bring, you can hook that up quite easily. Square tubular bumper there, as well as the spare tire that is mounted to that. Water connections are right on the back so it's nice and easy to get to uh, you also have your 50 amp detachable power cord this one is 50 amp because you have the second ac prep uh, in there and right up top here you can see your ladder prep all I have to do is buy the extendable ladder from Lippert, hooks right up so you can climb up on the fully walkable roof. And then right behind that is your backup camera prep. Again, folks, if you're looking for something that's just kind of that mid-size, it's not gonna break the bank, it's not going to break your truck, this one right here is a fantastic one uh, to do that. Not only is it a little bit lighter weight, it's also well built. And we saw all the amenities inside. This is just a good floor plan for two people. If you're interested and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. As always, thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and until next time, we'll see you.